In 1895, we established the three-year diploma program. Students would come and learn a range of techniques over those three years, and when they graduated, they'd be qualified to be able to go out and teach in the new technical colleges or in schools. The three-year program was really intense, and even to this day with our now called Future Tutor program, it's still as equally intense with a wide range of topics being covered. In the early diploma, they had to undertake some of the City and Guilds courses in basic sewing, as well as the stitching from the RSN. Here we have a certificate from one of our earliest students. She graduated in 1916. Her name is Ruby Essam. And Ruby um, has the accolade of probably being the longest connected person with the RSN in that she started in 1913 in order to graduate in 1916 and she finally left when she retired in 1976 making it 63 years of being at the RSN. Now Ruby was a very special person. Um, she graduated uh, as you can see here on this wonderful certificate uh, with very good and um, the certificate is actually signed by Princess Helena, who was our president at the time, along with Miss Bradshaw, who was the principal, um, and the head of the training school was Miss Randall. Uh, and these ladies all had very long associations with the RSN as well. Now, uh, Miss Essam went on to work in the workroom her entire life, doing a whole variety of pieces, including working on the coronation robes in 1937 and again in 1953. So a, a very special person um, and it's fantastic to have her certificate. This was brought back to the RSN um, in 2011. It was brought by her, her great nephew um, and I was told he was just bringing in two pieces of paper it's hard to know what they're actually going to be. One was this certificate and the other was a list of all the work that the RSN did in 1937 for the coronation then.